me. Hooray, the Police Academy! Somebody forgot to dot the I. I'll fix it. Police Academy, the series. Hooray! We've got to do something, Proctor. They're running wild. The entire precinct is under attack. Captain, the crime rate is down. I don't mean the criminals. I mean Mahoney and that gang of Academy grads. <laughs> What was that? Jones! Mahoney! Come back here, both of you! Can't stop now, Captain! We're testing these rocket-powered skateboards for the Professor! Hey, cowabunga, Cap! <laughs> we need to get something on those bozos so we can bounce them off the force! I absolutely agree, sir. Uh, Captain Harris, I am Dr. Herman Guthridge, Director of Antiquities at the Museum. Look, Doc, I'm kind of busy right now. We are returning the mummy of Pharaoh Tutmos III to Egypt. I would like some of your officers to go along for protection. You see, the mummy carries an ancient curse. A curse? Yeah, yeah, terrible things can happen to anyone who gets near it. On second thought, I know just the officers for the job. Egypt? We gotta play nursemaid to some mummy? <sighs> Think of those romantic moonlight nights on a cruise ship. Forget that. I hear there's a curse on that mummy. Okay, you clowns, listen up. Uh-oh, the curse has started already. Operation Egypt is not a pleasure cruise. Even though we're charging it against your vacation leave. <laughs> Look on the bright side. It'll be a month away from Harris. Ah! At ease, men. Why, Chief, what a great honor, sir. About Operation Egypt, I've decided to send a ranking officer along with you. Your very own Captain Harris. Ah! And there's no one more rank than Captain Harris. These artifacts are priceless. I beg you to handle them with the utmost care. And above all, exercise extreme caution. There are thieves everywhere. We'll get right on it, sir. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Egyptian junk coming aboard. Gangway! Here, Hooks. Heads up! Oh, no! My precious artifacts! Everything's aboard but old King Thut. Who's the lucky guy who gets to load the funky pharaoh? The... the, the mummy? <laughs> Forget it. Come on, Sweet Chuck. You don't believe that silly curse, do you? I sure do. I don't. Hot Tower, how can you do that? He ain't heavy. He's my mummy. Gentlemen, that mummy is going to make us rich. Those cops are going to help us get it. I hope we have smooth weather. I get seasick. Really, sir? I never would have guessed that. What was that? Uh-oh, we're hitting rough water. I knew it! We've run into a storm! Is that bad, sir? Of course it's bad! I told you before, I'm very prone to seasickness. Here, sir, I brought you something to eat. Eat? Oh, God! <laughs> I understand there's a curse on it. Really? 
What sort of curse? It's supposed to turn you into a hideous creature. Excuse me. A victim of the curse. Ooh, it is a hideous creature. You are no Miss America yourself, lady. Suspicious looking crowd, huh, Tack? Affirmative, Lieutenant. Oh, no, you don't, lady. What's going on here? That beast shot my camera. Is this true? Can't be too cautious, sir. Lots of mummy filters around. I think our Egyptian guests better ride in the cargo hold. Aye, aye, Captain. Lend a hand here, Tack. <laughs> it worked. They took the mummy below. Yes. We couldn't have swiped it with this crowd of looky-loos. What do we do now, boss? We wait until midnight. Hey, and that was Attila and the Hunlets with their hit single, Overrun Me with Savage Hordes of Love, Baby. And now, something romantic. How come we have to pull this watch? I hate all this spooky stuff. Hey, the dude inside is 4,000 years old. How scary could he be? <laughs> See, nothing in there to worry about. <laughs> nothing is right. Huh? It's gone! Sweet Chuck's gone, too. At least I'm still here. Think. <laughs> Hey, little buddy, this is no time to just hang around. We gotta look for that mummy. The moonlight makes your eyes sparkle so. Mm, your line is really smooth. But your hands are so rough. Ooh, yeah! Hi, did you have a good nap? Uh... Yo, what am I saying? Wait, come back! And now for a waltz. Ah! Okay then, how about a little rock and roll? Whoa. Better yet, how about a little frisbee? <laughs> Hang on, Jonesy, I'll get him. Mahoney, you okay? The mummy, he's gone! Yeah, pretty fast for a dead guy, isn't he? Jonesy, I think the vacation part of this trip just ended. Find that mummy! We've been searching since midnight and still no mummy. No passengers either. Where is everybody? I'll tell you where they are. They're down there. Oh, doing water sports. No, you dum-dums. Those are the passengers and crew. They won't come back on board until that mummy is captured. Don't worry, Captain. I'll get some of our people to pitch in and help run the ship. While the rest of us hunt for old bandage face. I wonder where that mummy is. And I hope I don't find it. Phew! Mummy hunting is hard work. Now, where did I put my hanky? Oh, here it is. How come we got stuck with KP? Would you rather be searching for the mummy? No way. Well, me neither. Now let's serve the soup. Let me see if it's properly seasoned. <laughs> Perfect. Maybe we'll do sandwiches instead. Eh, that's cabin number 712, and still no sign of that mummy. I've got a theory that our mummy friend is a fake. So how do we prove it? By finding the real mummy. Huh? You want to zip that past me again? Don't you see? The fake mummy must have stolen the real mummy. And he's got to be on board. Uh... What was that? Uh... Only a mummy groans like that. 
It's coming from behind that door. There it is! Gotcha! Will you cut that out? Captain Harris? You blister brains, can a man be seasick in peace? Certainly, sir. As you were. I sure hope we don't find this mummy we're looking for. Ah, the dude's harmless, I tell you. The fools, they do not believe in the curse of the mummy. Listen, it's him. But now, after centuries, I am free. <laughs> Let's get him. Do, 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 do we have to? Say farewell, intruders. You have met your doom. I knew we shouldn't have done this. Are you kidding? <laughs> Look! I will teach you to invade the tomb of King Nefertuti. It's only a movie. Only a movie? It happens to be the revenge of the radioactive mummy. It's got a four-star rating. But we should be looking for the real thing. You go ahead. I'll stay here and unwind, <laughs> along with the mummy. Then I'll just look for it myself. I'm not afraid. Much. Now, who left this mummy wrapping here? Yeah, mummy wrapping! And it leads to that stateroom. Okay, we got the mummy. I say we hit port and split. No, Grogan. I have a better plan. That mummy is nothing compared to what's still hidden in, in that pyramid. Right, Professor? Quite correct. And according to this ancient scroll, only the mummy can unlock the secret vault. So that's what they're up to. You're under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. How about that? We got us a mummy and a dummy. Craven's the name. Mummy's the game. Think of me as a teacher, because tomorrow you will personally learn how the ancient Egyptians buried people. Egypt, last stop, folks. All ashore that's going ashore. Sweet Chuck's gone! I can't find him anywhere! He's probably still in his cabin. I'll check again. Careful with Thutmose. Don't drop him. That was a good idea, in dressing him up like a woman. That's why I'm the boss. Why don't we just toss this shrimp back in the ocean? We may need him. Those pyramids have some mighty tight spaces. Oh, no! Some crooks have got You go, Shorty. Mahoney, don't! Some crooks have kidnapped and sweet shot! They've got him in that van! What do we do now? We'll need some wheels. We're hot on their trail. Did you have to mention the hat? Yeah, Mahoney. Why didn't you rent something with air conditioning? Yeah, like a fettuccine or one of them other Italian sports cars. Sorry, gang. On our budget, a tank was the only thing we could afford. On the other hand, it's got enough firepower to level an entire city. Good old tech, always looking at the bright side. Look, it's Harris of Arabia. Don't move, Mahoney. While you're clanking along in that smelly tank, <laughs> we're enjoying the fresh air on this comfortable camel. I guess that's why they call him the ship of the desert. Did you say sh sh ship? <laughs> Quick, Proctor, head back to the city. Right away, sir. Giddy up, fella. What? Whoa! <laughs> you two guard the entrance. Right, boss. They've gone into that pyramid. I say we mount a direct frontal attack. 
Cool it, Tac. They've got heavy artillery. And they've got Sweet Chuck. Oh, great. And what have we got? We've got an idea. What's that noise? It sounds like an army of tanks. And an air force. And now the cavalry. We're being attacked. Here comes the lead tank. <sighs> this job is definitely not worth minimum wage. Way to go, Jonesy. If Mom said I was wasting my time watching all those World War II movies. Stay close, everyone. Don't worry. I intend to. Here's the mummy. And here's the dummy. You nasty people won't get away with this. Shut up, shorty. Well, what does that scroll say? According to this, only the weight of King Thot's mummy will move the slab and reveal the secret treasure. You heard the professor. Do it! So how come it ain't working? Maybe he lost the weight. Hmm, that makes sense. He had nothing to eat for 4,000 years. What's that sound? It's coming from the next chamber. One false move, and you'll be in the same condition he is. I might as well make myself comfy. Oh, dear. What's going on? Wow! Look at all these treasures. No wonder those crooks wanted to get in here. The music's coming from in here. It gives me the creeps. I think it's kind of catchy. What the? Hi, guys. They're clubs. Let's get out of here. You're mine, Scuzzball. <laughs> Some scary looking dudes. You're much too tense. That's more like it. Hold it, gentlemen. I've a little surprise for you. Miranda, <laughs> or your friend will be crocodile or dirt. Okay, you win. And you lose, funny man, because you're going in her place. <laughs> That sure is the pits. I said jump! Er, uh, I, uh, I just ate, uh, so I've got to wait at least an hour before I can go in the water. You'll go now! <laughs> What's that thing? Defilers! You have called forth the curse of King Thutmose! Those who would desecrate my sacred tomb shall be punished! We, we, we didn't mean it, honest! Bad us! Oh, mighty Thutmose! That thing! It's horrible! I command you to throw your weapons away! You're the boss! <laughs> Where'd that guy come from? Who cares? I never look a gift ghost in the mouth. Surprise! It's Sweet Chuck! Man, you did great! It's amazing what a little makeup can do. Yeah, I thought it was a real improvement. How'd you change your voice like that? Easy. I just talked through this megaphone. I guess the Pharaoh used this when he wanted to impress his followers. He must have been a little guy like me. Hey, you're the biggest guy I know. <laughs> this is the life, Mahoney. 
An ocean voyage is the only way to go. It looks like Captain Harris has other ideas. Oh. He seems to prefer traveling by rail. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All the grads are hiding from me. It's a search and capture exercise. And speaking of hiding, I've got a hot tip for you. Never hide from a fire. Never hide in a closet. Where could they be? And don't hide under the bed. What the? I guess anybody can hide from me, but nobody can hide from a fire.